Hey, what's going on, peeps? Today we're going to be connecting MySQL databases with Java Eclipse. So, uh, the first thing that you're going to need is MAMP, which I use here. Uh, it's available for both for Windows and Mac for free. So, uh, yeah, go download that. Um, I'll link it in the description so you can just make your way there easily. So, um, once you've downloaded it, um, extract it, and then uh, you get this application right here. So you simply press on the start server button and you should see two green lights appear here on Apache and MySQL. And then this web page on um, this sorry, this web page on your browser would open up automatically. And so uh, we'll we'll make our way through this later on. Um, second thing that you also need is a MySQL connector, which you can just search on Google or I'll leave in the description below. So um you make your way to this page and then you see JDB driver. You click on download and then she take you here. Uh, make sure it's on platform independent and then you download the zip archive. So uh, once you have that as well, you go here and then you see this file right here. Okay, after that, uh, just remember where that is. You open up your Eclipse and then um, you can just you make you can make a new class right here. So I made a new uh, folder, first of all, called MySQL, and then I made a new class called database. In it, uh, in that you can make a new folder by just right clicking and then new and then folder, right? So then in that uh, you can simply just um, okay. Let me just delete this right here, and then I'll show you again. So uh, let's create like a new folder here that's called uh, okay library lib and then you can just simply copy it and then just paste it in there and uh, yeah that should appear right here easy enough so then once you've done that you click on uh, build path and then um, configure build path and then you get this page where it's just left here with JRE system library uh, you add JARs you make your way to where you saved your connector which is in the library section here and it's in this folder called MySQL. So you make your way there, a library, and you add this right here. And then bam, there you go, all set. All right, then um, we can begin to, uh, okay, so we're gonna be using uh, phpMyAdmin. So uh, you remember this page where it automatically go, uh, goes up. If you close it down, there's no problem. Uh, right here, you can just click, press on open startup page and it should take you back to this same page which is a local host so um, you go back here to phpMyAdmin and then uh, this is your main uh, MySQL site that you're gonna set up your database so um, first of all you make you press new here to make a new uh, database I have some several right here so uh, okay let's go on demo that I made here and with that inside here you can make new tables so uh, you can just press on new However, I've made one here already called employees. And then here you can see all the different um, rows and columns that I made for my database. So there's one for ID that's auto-generated. I made one for last names. You can also change it in individually like types or chars or integers. And then first name, this is your maximum characters that you can add for this. You can set it up later uh, in these sections right here in the insert and uh, all these stuff you know you know you just play around right here and then I have an email one and so if we go to browse this is where uh, you store all your information so uh, I have my ID last name first name and email right here and uh, you know you can add your own data, uh, data here so this is my name and then I added everything right here and this is all my friends names and uh, I mean, so if you want to insert stuff, uh, you go right here. And so then, uh, okay, this is all generating. So you can type, uh, let's go with test. And then let's go with test2. Let's go with test at mail.com. And then we can press on go. And uh, yeah, there you have it. So yeah, it's, it's really easy to add stuff with phpMyAdmin because it's also universal for Windows and Mac. So yeah you know that's a good thing All right so uh, all good so then uh, what you want to do once you set up your database or you can you know, just mess around and then put some random data inside it we're gonna be testing it out on Eclipse 
Um, so once you have everything installed with all the connectors and stuff, uh, I have this ready code that you guys can just. Oh, sorry. Um, do, 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 do. All right. So um, you guys pause the screen right now and then type this exact same um, code right here. All right. So I'm gonna be explaining what this does. So uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be first of all Im uh, importing the Java SQL right here at the top, and um, with this connection thing, we connect your main database, which is always JDBC, MySQL. And in this case, we're local hosting. Um, if you're not using uh, MAMP or phpMyAdmin like I am, your port might be different, so it's 33 uh, something. However, uh, the one that I always use is 8889, which most likely will work for you guys. And the password is always root, and the username is always root. So it's root root. And then uh, basically just copy this right here. And right here, this is your main uh, table that you will be selecting from. So uh, let's go back here. This is this is my database name and this is my ta table name. So then I am selecting everything in my table cause I'm called uh, employees right here. So then here we go, select from empo employees. Um, and then we move on to here. This is this is where you print out everything that is inside each row or each column of your database. So here we have last name. As you can see here, it prints every last name first. So you'll print the last name first. We don't have to print out the ID because it's auto-incrementing, of course. So we print out the last name here. And then uh, we print out the first name here, which is right here. And then we print out the email. Uh, which is right here. So yeah, I mean like I mean if you guys want to enter more um, Things uh, let me show you guys. So yeah, if you want to enter more things like oh, uh, I don't know, address or uh, Gender then yeah, I mean you can enter it and then it would all store here. So then you just have to add um, Get string uh, my rs dot get string and then your uh, column name right after that so then uh, that's basically it guys, so then uh, let's just save this and give it a test run. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Uh, all your information from your database in phpMyAdmin is stored right here and it would show up on your Eclipse. So uh, yeah guys, hope this helped you. And uh, thanks for watching.